Um, my name is Alex Rigo. I'm a flyweight amateur, six and three, fighting out of uh, Denver, Colorado, or Inglewood, Colorado, Factory X. Um, I moved out here uh, maybe six months ago, seven months ago from Chicago. I'm from Puerto Rico. I lived there till I was about two or three. Moved to Chicago for school around kindergarten. Had a great time out there, had great training partners, and me, a, a couple of training partners, decided that we need to elevate our training, uh, really push forward. Uh, the training out there was great, but it wasn't really enough to uh, go to that high level, uh, especially uh, my guy Oscar Oscar. He's uh, gonna make it back into the UFC this year. Uh, Motaz Oscar, we all moved and uh, rented the apartment out here and we really want to just make it to that high level. We all want to go to the UFC and uh, we found out about this gym and uh, we figured out that, man, these are the best guys in the world. It's the best facility, best training partners in the world. And once I spent, I spent a week here, I, I was already w willing to go. Once they told me like, hey, let's go do this. These, I can, there's more UFC fighters and I can count my hands. I was like, all right, packed my car and we drove over here. And uh, ever since I've been here, it's been, man, I've been, my game is elevated. I've been wrestling since I was eight. So I'm a grappler for sure. Uh, I love to grapple, I love to wrestle. I love ground and pound. I love holding a person down, smashing their face in. Uh, I would say grappling is my advantage, but uh, right now, man, sky's the limit right now. I can do anything, I feel. I mean, uh, for this fight, I feel like I get to be myself. I get to do everything that I like to do, wrestle, grapple, strike. I get to do a little bit of everything. I feel like this kid uh, is gonna be perfect style matchup for me. Um, any of the fights I've had before, I've uh, only fights I've ever lost were due to uh, grappling disadvantages here and there. Um, but I've worked on those holes, completely uh, stopped that from happening. Uh, they've helped me change my game completely to where I don't really feel like I have many holes, uh, but this fight specifically is gonna be like a lot in my favor. I feel like I can out grapple. I feel like I can strike. I feel like Anything I want to do in this fight, I'm going to be able to do. So basically, this camp has just been sharpening myself, sharpening my skills, adding more tools. There's so many people to work with and there's so many coaches that I hold, uh, hit miss with, do grappling exchanges with, one-on-one -on -one sessions that every day I'm literally just getting better and better and better. So I'm just sharpening myself up to get, show my best self on the 19th. I'm just going to be the best me I can. Especially uh, with your guys' rule sets, it's really cool that I can throw elbows, throw knees. Um, it's going to be a tile fight, so it's going to be four minute rounds. So I feel like this is the perfect step before I go pro. Um, if I don't go pro after this one, that's fine. More experience for me. But uh, if I do well on this one, I would love to go pro right after. The title is great. It's an awesome opportunity. I'm, I'm blessed, and I, I'm so grateful to you guys for giving this. But it's just another step forward, you know. For me, it's the big goal, the dream of being in the UFC, winning a title, being the best 25 in the world. This is just a step to it, and I need to perform. I need to do this, and I, you know. But I'm not over here like, oh, I need to win the belt. The belt's the most important thing. No, it's just like any other fight. There's another guy in front of me, and I gotta beat him before I get the reward. So I would say don't worry about the belt too much. Don't let it play too much in your head. Just worry about winning that fight. Yeah, he's uh, been very active recently. He hasn't been fighting a long, long time, but he's been very active, um, especially recently. I think he fought in September uh, and then just in January. So I watched a lot of his most recent fights. And uh, uh, as far as like how he looks, he looks like willing to scrap. He looks like a tough kid, but um, I don't really see a lot of skill. Like I see like a lot of holes in his striking. It seems like he's a little tentative. I feel like, um, it's gonna be more of uh, my will against his, kind of like hammer and nail type of thing. I feel like I can just go ahead and impose my will and do what I need to do. My skills would kind of make him uh, a shell of himself. He's, he's gonna see, oh, this is a real dude. This isn't just some kid. This guy's experienced. Like you said, I have a lot of experience. So he's gonna feel my skills and feel like that's gonna give me an advantage. I would say just making the weight. Honestly, I love training. I love being around my team. So like, this is the fun part. Like being able to train and then getting the fight, that's even funner. So honestly, just making the weight, just getting the weight down. That's always the hardest part, you know, get the weight down and then we get to have fun. So sure. I love the journey. I love doing all this. <laughs>